Hey, honey. I am so excited about the father-daughter dance tonight. Here you go. I got you a new dress. Thanks, Dad. I'm almost ready. Wait. What is this? Forever 21? I can't be seen wearing some cheap dress from Forever 21. I'm so sorry, honey. I, I thought you'd like it. Like it? I hate it. All the other girls are going to be wearing designer dresses, and I'm going to be stuck wearing this cheap brand. Thanks a lot, Dad. This is going to ruin everything. I'm so sorry, honey. But at least you have a new dress, right? Some girls probably don't even get that. What does that have anything to do with me? I'm just going to go change. Wait here. OK, sweetie. Wow. You look so beautiful. Yeah, whatever, Dad. Let's just go. Before we go, I bought you this. You've got to be kidding me. This corsage looks so cheap. And there's only like three flowers on it. But I thought that was your favorite flower. Yeah, but all the other girls are going to have six or seven flowers. I wanted something nicer than this. This is seriously turning into such a disaster. Well, listen. Some girls out there, they don't even- Save it, Dad. I just won't even wear a corsage, OK? Let's just go. Wait. What are you doing? I thought we were taking a limo. Oh, um, well, I thought we could maybe just drive to the dance instead. It's not that far. No. I told you I wanted a limo. All the other girls are going to be taking one, and I can't be showing up in my dad's car. That's so embarrassing. So where is it? I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want to tell you this, but recently I got laid off from my job. And money has been really tight lately. Dad, please do not tell me you didn't order us a limo. I'm really sorry. I didn't. I can't believe this. First you buy me this crappy dress, then you try and give me some cheap flowers, and now you didn't even order me a limo? Honey, a lot of girls out there don't have any of those things. What matters most is that we're together, right? Don't you think you should be grateful for what you have? No! This is seriously the worst night ever! You know what? I don't want to go to this stupid dance anymore. Come on, sweetheart, please. Don't be like that. I hope you know you ruined everything. I just want to be alone right now. Honey. I can't believe he got me some cheap dress and flowers. And no limo. What was he thinking? I'm so excited we're going to the father-daughter dance. Thanks for taking me, Dad. You're welcome, sweetie. Is everything okay? I can tell when you're sad. Well, everything's fine. Just wish. Dad, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I was just... I just feel like such a bad father. I really wanted to make this day very special for you. Dad, what do you mean? Today is special. I know. I just really wanted you to have a new dress. I'm so sorry I couldn't afford one for you. I feel terrible that you have to wear the same dress that you wore last year. Dad, are you kidding? I love this dress. And I wouldn't care if I had to wear the same one again next year, too. Besides, there are some girls that don't even have a dress to wear to the dance. Thank you. I just wish I could afford more than one flower for your corsage. I know all the other girls are going to have a... Dad, <laughs> please. I love my corsage, even if it only has one flower. What matters is that you got it for me. 
Not how many flowers it has. It keeps Just wish we didn't have to take the bus. I wish I had a car that I could drive you to the dance in. Dad, I'm happy to take the bus. Do you know why? Because I'm with you. The, the dress, the corsage, the car, none of that matters. What matters is that we're together, right? I'm grateful for what I have. Honey, what did I do to deserve a daughter like you? I love you very much. I love you too, Dad. Lee. You're home. I was so worried about you, sweetie. Yeah. I shouldn't have run off like that. I feel so bad about everything. I just wanted this night to be special for you. And I didn't want to ruin it. So... I ordered us a limousine. Wow, well, really, Dad? But how? I thought you couldn't afford it. Yeah, well, I just used my credit card. And once I find another job, I'll be able to pay for it one day. Actually, Dad, I don't need a limo to take us to the dance. But I don't understand. I, I thought that's what you wanted. It was, but not anymore. I'm really sorry, Dad about everything. I feel so bad about what I said earlier. I just got so caught up with the dress, the flowers, and the limo that I forgot about the one thing that really matters, having you. Do you think you can forgive me? Wow, of course. I'm so proud of you. I can't tell you how much that means to me. So, what should I do about the limo? You can go ahead and cancel that. I'm more than happy with you driving me to the dance. And with my three flowers. I'm grateful for everything I have. Oh, sweetheart, I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Now, should we try this again? I would love that. Mom, can you hurry up? Seriously? It's not that heavy. Hello. Can I start you two off with something to drink? Uh, yes, we will both have some water. Sounds good. Would you like a bit more time to look at the menu? Yes, please. Nope, we are ready. I will have the garden salad. Fantastic choice. And for you, ma'am? I don't know. Could we have a little more time? I told you, I don't have a lot of time. Can you please just pick something? I'm starving. Oh, it's really okay. I can just come back whenever you're ready. Fine. Put my order in in the meantime. I'm not gonna wait just because she can't decide what she wants to eat. Sure, right away. I'll be right back with those waters. <clears throat> um, I I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but the pasta here is delicious. My mom used to order it all the time. Uh, thanks, but nobody asked you. Honey. All right, here are the waters for you. There you go. I'll be right back with that salad. There you go again, always making a mess. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. This is why I can never take you anywhere. I don't have time to clean up after you. 
go to the bathroom, clean yourself up. It's not a big deal, I can help clean it up. Seriously, it's not your mess. Just go back to your table. Look, I just think you should treat your mom better. <laughs> oh really? And what makes you say that? You know, why don't you go spend some time with your own mother? Well, I wish I could. The last time I saw my mom was over dinner. I didn't want to go. But she said she had something important to tell me. You see, at the restaurant, my mom struggled to pull out her chair. I sat there and rolled my eyes not even caring to help her. And then she took forever to order her food. I got so impatient and just ordered without her. And then she made this huge mess. I got so upset and yelled at her. And then I made her go clean herself up. And that was the last time I saw my mom. It turned out she wanted to have dinner to tell me she had cancer. <laughs> so you see, I would do anything to help my mom with a chair or clean up her mess. So please, don't take your mom for granted. I'm so sorry about your mom. I can't believe how bad I've been treating mine. It's okay. I know you'll do the right thing. Mom? I'm so sorry, honey. I didn't mean to embarrass you. No, Mom. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have taken you for granted. You are my mom and I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Let me help you with your chair. <laughs> been wanting. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> You're welcome, hon. Happy birthday. And, sweetie, got one last little gift for you. Dad, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh my God, Dad, is this what I think it is? You know how bad I've been wanting this. I don't know, you're just gonna have to open it up and see. Oh, I knew it. I knew you guys wouldn't forget. I can't wait to post this on my Insta. A Honda? Happy birthday, sweetheart. You guys got me a crappy Honda? Well, what, what, what do you mean? I thought that that's what you wanted, a car for your birthday. Yeah, I wanted a car. Not a cheap Honda. Thought you were gonna get me a BMW like you have. I can't be seen driving to school in an ugly Honda. Jenna, that's not nice. You know, there's a lot of kids that have to take the bus to school because they don't have a car at all. You should be grateful for what you have. Well, how is that my problem? This is seriously the worst birthday ever. Jenna. You know what? Forget it. Thanks for nothing. Where are you going? I'll be at Brittany's. At least she has a nice car. Well, that didn't go how I imagined it. I can't believe they didn't get me a BMW. I'm gonna be caught dead in a Honda. Happy birthday, dear Crystal. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Crystal. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I got you a little something for your birthday. 
it's not much but I've been saving up for a little while present but dad this should have gone to food I didn't need anything don't worry you deserve this so go on open it a bus pass I know I'm sorry that I couldn't get you anything more I just felt bad that you had to walk to school every day. What's wrong? You don't like it? I love it, actually. I'm just so happy that I don't have to walk to school anymore. I'm grateful for everything I have. Thank you, Dad. Anything for you, sweetheart. And one day I'll be able to buy you a car for your birth. I promise. Dad, are you kidding? I don't need a car. I can take the bus now. <laughs> I'm just happy I don't have to walk to school anymore. I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> Jenna, you're back. I thought you were going to Brittany's. Actually, I changed my mind. Look, Mom and I talked about it, and, uh, here you go. What's this? Key to the BMW? Yeah. I just, I felt bad about you having to drive that Honda around, so it's okay. You take my car, and I'll drive the Honda instead. What's wrong? Aren't you excited? Isn't this what you wanted? Yeah, Jenna, aren't you happy? Actually, it's okay, Dad. I don't need it. But... I'm sorry, Dad. For everything. I'm happy with the Honda. <laughs> Why the change of heart? Well... I just learned to be grateful for what I have. You and Mom forgive me. Jen, we're so proud of you. Of course we forgive you. Hope you guys clean up. <laughs> it's about time. I'm starving. I'm so sorry, honey. I got stuck in a couple meetings. Well, I hope you brought something home for dinner. I didn't have enough time, but don't worry. Oh, I'll warm up some of yesterday's spaghetti. Spaghetti? Again? There's no way I'm gonna eat that. Just haven't had a lot of time this week. And then we're short staff at the office. Well, I don't want that. Make me something else. Please, honey. I am really tired, and my feet are killing me. Forget it. I guess I'll just go to sleep hungry then. Wait! Okay, I can probably make some... No! I'm not hungry anymore! I'm going to bed. Seriously, Mom? You didn't wash the dishes? Oh, shoot. I'm so sorry. I'll wash them right now. What did you expect? For me to drink out of the carton? I gotta get this. Do you mind washing them? Absolutely not. Can you give me a few minutes? But I'm thirsty now. You know, you could also help out sometimes. Yeah, right. You're the mom. That's your job. Calling again? This must be important. Forget it. I'll just drink out of the cardin then. What? No, don't do that. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Patty, what's up? Not a problem, I'll take care of it. What the heck? Mom, you forgot to wash my clothes! Shh, I'm on the phone. I don't care. 
You know I'm staying with Simone this weekend. Why didn't you wash these? I'm so sorry, Patty. I'm gonna have to call you back. Thank you. I don't know why you have to make such a scene when you know I'm on the phone. Are you kidding? You forgot to wash my clothes and you're getting mad at me? I'll wash them right now. I have to go to work, so you have to remember to put them in the dryer, okay? They won't be done in time. I'm doing the best I can, Morgan. When you're a mom, you'll understand how hard it is. Well, I'm not a mom. You are. And if I'm being honest, not a very good one. How could you say that? I'll just have to wear the same clothes all weekend. Thanks for nothing. Wait, don't go. Maybe Bye. I can... Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me stay here this weekend. Yep. So now tell me, what happened with mom? You sounded really upset on the phone. Where do I even start? She practically doesn't do anything for me anymore. She doesn't cook. She doesn't wash the dishes. She doesn't even do laundry. It's so annoying. Well, I'm sure she's doing the best she can. Not you two. You sound just like her. If I were a mom, I'd never act the way she does. You know, you really don't know how hard being a mom is until you become one. Why don't you try watching Riley this weekend? What, like babysitting her? Exactly. I mean, it can't be too difficult, right? No. It'll be a piece of cake. Okay, we'll see. Well, I've got so much work to catch up on, so I'll be in my room. How hard can this be? I'm hungry. Uh, okay. Give me a sec, let me see what you guys have. How does mac and cheese sound? I ate that yesterday. I don't want it. All right. What do you want? Mmm, spaghetti. Okay. Do you know where you guys keep your pots? Mmm. Oh, they're all dirty. Simone! I'm trying to cook for Riley, but the dishes need to be washed. Okay, so go ahead and wash them. Wash them? Yeah, you got this. Morgan rolls up her sleeves and reluctantly starts washing the dishes. Little did she know she was about to learn a big lesson. After she's done, she spends the next half hour cooking spaghetti and ends up creating a big mess. Even though her work has just started, she's already feeling exhausted. Morgan cleans up the mess as her niece eats, only to find out Riley spilled the spaghetti all over her outfit. She stresses out as she realizes she now has to wash all of Riley's clothes. Morgan starts to hand wash them in the sink. She begins to regret ever agreeing to babysit her niece in the first place. She comes back to the kitchen to pour herself a glass of juice, only to realize there are no clean glasses because all the dishes are dirty again. She now understands just how much work being a mom really is. This is unbelievable. How's everything going? Not good. I'm exhausted. <laughs> and to think it's only been a couple hours. Mommy, I'm hungry. Okay. Well, why don't you ask your tia to make you something then? Okay. Again? But I just fed you. Well, I'm hungry. Fine. I'll heat up some leftover spaghetti. But I want something else. Simone, you can't be serious. Can't you just make her something? I mean, it can't be that hard, right? You got this. <sighs> what did I get myself? Into. I'm hungry. Grandma! <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, sweetie. Oh, I missed you. Thank goodness you're here. What's going on? Is everything okay? No. Can you please help me? I'm trying to take care of Riley, but it's so much work. But didn't you say it was easy? Listen, Mom. I'm sorry for giving you such a hard time these past few days. I feel so bad for how I cheated you. It's okay, sweetie. Now what can I help with? Can you please make Riley something to eat? <laughs> I'd love to. I'll start with washing these dishes. Oh, actually, Mom, I'll wash the dishes. And when I'm done, I'll help you cook, too. What? Really? It's like I don't even know who you are anymore. I guess I never realized how hard it is being a mom until I had to take care of a kid. I promise, going forward, I'm gonna help you out a lot more. Now, can you please forgive me? Of course. <laughs> I should have bought that other purse too. Oh, honey, you got a lot of nice things. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need my credit card back. Oh, of course. Here you go. Actually, I think I'm gonna hang on to it in case I need to buy some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, welcome in. Sorry for the wait. Um, here's your water. It's about time. Talk about bad service. Beverly. What? No, no, you're right. I am so sorry. I'm the only one working today, so we've just been a bit backed up. <laughs> It's perfectly fine, we understand. Uh, I'll take the mandarin crunch salad. Excellent choice. And for you? Just get me the same, but hurry it up. We don't have all day. You got it. Here you go. Thank you. That wasn't nice. Who cares? She's just a waitress. I mean, how hard can that job be? Well, you wouldn't know, would you? You've never worked a day in your life. Whatever. So my friends and I were thinking about going to Hawaii next month. Is that okay? How much is that gonna cost? I don't know. I was planning on using your credit card. Oh. All right, um, here is your salad. Thank you so much. Of course, enjoy. Wait a second. Are there sunflower seeds in here? Uh, yes, they come with the salad you ordered. Are you trying to kill me? I'm allergic to sunflower seeds. Oh my gosh, I, I am so sorry. I had, I had no idea. Um, yeah. uh, maybe you should have asked. I mean, you have a minimum wage paying job. How hard can that be? Beverly, stop. It's not her fault. I should have never let you order the salad. I just spaced out. Her job is hard enough. Besides, you didn't eat any, you're fine. Don't make excuses for her, Mom. <coughs> Bring me another salad, and I expect you to remove this from the bill for the inconvenience. Absolutely. Right away. I'm so sorry. How could you treat her like that? You wouldn't want anybody to treat you like that, would you? Oh, please. She should know how to do her job. It's not rocket science. That was good. Here's your change. Thank you so much for coming in. And again, I truly, truly apologize for the mix-up. I, I probably Don't even didn't. worry about it. It wasn't a problem. And all of this is for you. Wow, really? Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, what? No! She took forever with our order and then tried to poison me. Beverly? Give that back. Fine. You want a tipper? Then here. And you should be thankful. That's a lot more than you even deserve. Beverly! What? No, no, um, it's okay. It's totally fine. <sighs> she couldn't even do her simple job right. You know, being a waitress isn't easy. <laughs> 
You never know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. Oh yeah? And how would you know? Because I used to be one. Before I started my business, how do you think we were paying the bills? By me waiting tables, that's how. Really? Ew. Well, it's a good thing you have money now, so I'll never have to worry about doing that. And that is the problem. I am taking my credit card back. Oh, how am I supposed to pay for things? By getting a job. It's the only way you're going to learn the value of hard work. Uh, are, are you serious, Mom? No, you can't do this to me. I am serious. You put the money back and let's go. <gasps> Beverly can't believe what just happened and follows her mom out. Now that Beverly can't use her mom's credit card anymore, she has no choice but to look for a job. She ends up getting hired as a waitress at a new restaurant that just opened up. Everything seems to be going fine. That is, until she has to take on multiple tables at once and gets yelled at by angry customers for taking too long with their orders. No matter how hard she works, Customers just expect more and more out of her and she can't seem to do anything right. Beverly starts to get really stressed out. After working so hard and taking care of all of her customers, she hardly has even anything to show for it. She now understands how hard being a waitress really is. And then a few months later, she happens to run into her old waitress. So my friends and I decided not to go to Hawaii. It's so expensive. <laughs> well, it's a lot different when you have to pay for things yourself, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to... Oh, um, I know you didn't like my service last time. Want me to get someone else? No, please. I'm actually really sorry for how I treated you before. You are? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Would you like the same salads as last time? Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, but please don't forget that. I know. No sunflower seeds. <laughs> yes, thank you for remembering. I'll be sure to leave you an extra big tip this time. <laughs> Wow, honey, I am so proud of you. You know what? I'm gonna let you have my credit card back. Really? Oh my gosh. Actually, it's okay, Mom. It actually feels really good working for everything that I have. Thank you, though. <sighs> the second time this week your son has been being late. a mom all by myself you know well, everybody knows a child needs a mother and a father to be successful just because he doesn't have a father does not mean he won't be successful the truth hurts <laughs>